So I'm assuming the sixth year is the clinical year. That is that correct? Yeah, I can see the responses. Yes, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. <laughs> thank you for joining us. So um, I hope that before this, se this session, you ha may have had um, a brief introduction to Lecturio, may have at least heard of Lecturio, but even if you haven't, inshallah, today we'll leave this meeting where you have had a very good introduction to Lecturio. And I'm here to answer any questions that you may have, or um, my colleague Omar is here as well. So what we are going to do now, um, we will I will share with you my screen and run a very brief PowerPoint presentation that will just basically tell you what it is that Lecturio does, what is it that we believe in, and how is it that we can help you in your medical, dental, nursing, pharmaceutical um, journey as students. And then we will log into the platform so we can look at all these um, features that I'm talking about. So if you all bear with me, I'll share my screen. And also, please feel free to use the chat box if you have any questions. And then at the end of every bit, I will unmute and we can, I'll unmute you and you can, you know, voice out your questions as well. So let's see. Omar, is my screen visible to you? Uh, can someone from the chat box just give me a shout out if you can all see yes. my screen? Okay, Visible. perfect. Perfect. So what Lecturio is, is we are a medical or a health science teaching platform. It is a unique combination of content with functionality. So you may have heard of the term LMS, which is a learning management system that some of, so some of you already are very familiar with. For example, there's Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard, what Lecturio is, it's much more than that because this is a platform that has been built with learning science principles and there is content, our own pre-made content on there, which is now going to be, of course, your content. So let's see if, uh, there we go. Apologies. I think the slide just jumped to the end of it. Let's start again. So we do understand that there has been you know, a lot of changes in digital education. And I know everyone must be tired already hearing about COVID, but that is just one of the examples out there that tell us that, you know, the information that has come up in the last couple of years just from research is a lot more than, you know, traditional teaching methods can cover. What we do right now is, you know, sometimes we learn right before an exam because I am a medical doctor as well and I graduated very recently. I graduated in 2019. And I do understand where it happens that, you know, we have an exam, we study the night before, we finish the exam, and what do you know, the next day you forget. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get out of that cram and forget trap. That's where Lecturio comes in because we use the research, we use the evidence out there to ensure that when students learn anything, there is they achieve long-term mastery of the concept. And the reason I mentioned COVID, just on this example, so research shows us that medical knowledge or healthcare knowledge in general is doubling almost every 73 days. And what that tells us is that, you know, just in a few years, we have been able to learn so much about just this one virus, this one pandemic. We've learned about, you know, transmissibility. We've learned about vaccines, vaccine development, efficacy. And in these five or six years you have in medical school, the amount of information you had to learn, for example, 50 years ago is completely different than what you need to learn right now. We have so much technology out there. So every single day, something new is being discovered. And every single day, we have new ways to look at things, um, new treatments available, new treatment plans available, new technologies available. And how do you learn these? So learning science tells us that we need to have proper techniques that help us retain these concepts longer in our memory and there are very many different techniques that help us do that and most of we have endeavored to incorporate this into Lecturio so you can see what memory retention looks like without learning science and what happens with learning science and there are so many principles out there you know active recall space repetition and we will look into these when we log into the platform also I'd really appreciate just you know for this presentation as we're still running it can everyone please mute themselves? 
or Omar, please help me mute the background sounds. So as I was mentioning, yeah, I'm we trying. are <laughs> Jazakallah. So what we are, what you now have available to you is the next generation of digital education. You have the gold standard precision health science education platform, which is like to you. And I did mention to you, it's a combination of content and functionality. So the content has been actually developed from top professors around the world. So some that are mentioned here are, you know, these names that we hear every day, Yale, Harvard, Imperial College, John Hopkins. And what this boils down to is this is the content. So in terms of volume, you have available to you the entire medical and nursing curricula that's broken down into about 10,000 videos, which are then linked to recall questions. So these recall questions serve to test your comprehension. Um, thank you. So they serve to test your comprehension and to generate data. So we are having a data-driven approach to teaching. And all this feeds into an AI-powered space retrieval algorithm, which makes sure that you, know, you are notified whenever the, the system thinks, okay, now the student is likely to forget. And it will be unique to each and every one of you. So the algorithm obviously is dependent on your usage of the platform. And we do understand, you know, Students, not everyone likes to learn by video. So we have concept articles, clinical case questions, 3D anatomy. And what that looks like is all these different functionality. So what's on this screen is just all these different functions that boil down to two things, a personalized smart tutor for you, the students, and a smart digital assistant for your faculty. So not only will you be given your own personal tutor, but the platform in with all this functionality helps your faculty meet your needs as well. And we do understand, you know, this is something that we spoke with your faculty yesterday is whatever it is that you're already comfortable with, you know, we won't overwhelm you with more login IDs and passwords. We can very easily integrate Lecturio with whatever LMS that you are currently using. And so these are now just some screenshots from the platform. What I will do is I will run through really quickly because we are going to sign in and look into them um, live. So as you can see, the slide that the professor is using here is very, it's, we've got a lot of content on there, but the way it has been organized is to reduce the cognitive load on you. You know, there is not too many heavy slides. There's very good visuals. And all of the content is broken down into videos that are only three to nine minutes long. So after that, you get a break, you get some quiz questions, quiz questions with look, at what ha your learning has been like has your learning been achieved in just these few minutes that you spend on these videos and then this is what you know the interface for the question looks like the clinical case scenarios and we, they are we are using real life clinical scenarios which not only can your professors use for your end of year exams but you yourself can use for self-directed learning to increase your confidence to build your critical thinking skills um, I had mentioned to you, you know, technology has been used in very many different ways. So one of them that I really like is the 3D anatomy models as well, which you can use to annotate, to, you know, build, to dissect, and we look at them. And then the space repetition questions that I mentioned. So this is part of, you know, when I speak learning science principles, there is an adaptive algorithm that improves information recall every time you answer a question, every time, you know, you interact with any of the material that's on there, any of the content that's on there. And now this is, for example, a very, <laughs> this is a screenshot of someone who, let's say a student attempted an exam and they got really bad performance. But what you see on the screen here is what they can do next. They can configure an adaptive review which would support their self-directed learning. A checklist comes up that tells them, these are the questions you answered. This is what your accuracy was like. Which questions do you want to do today? And just at the click of a button, the system then creates for you your own personalized playlist so that you can go ahead and read the concepts that you're unfamiliar with or not very confident with. And then the personal tutor or the personal assistant that we're talking about is this, you know, it boils down to even these different functionalities like having your own study planner. <laughs> So the balanced study 
coach helps you know to avoid those stressful those anxiety moments where you spend a night before the exam or before the deadline trying to submit something and end up not actually remembering or not actually actively learning the material that it is that you're even working on so we'll look into this when we log into the platform and then these are some of the features that even your faculty can use your faculty can see how they can you know incentivize your learning how they can track your performance and help you in the areas where you find most difficulty again similar statistics uh, we can help you in your exams if you want to you know start your tutor mode on or you want to feel um, you want to give it a real life examination scenario that's something that you know we spoke with your faculty we have all these functionalities available to you and then the other thing was the mobile app so we have Lecturio is available in both Android and iOS and we completely understand you know sometimes you might be especially the clinical years you might be studying on your pc on your computer and then the next thing you know you have to go see a patient on ward or you have to go um, have a seminar a tutorial and what happens is all that content is available to you offline as well on the mobile app the mobile app also uses text recognition. So, you know, you can just use your camera, take a picture of a textbook, of a note, of a patient's note, and everything that is on there will then be, you know, brought to you just, the content will be matched and brought to you on the mobile app. Um, they are, so Lecturia is not new. We have been here for a while and they are institutions around the world that are already using it. And what that boils down to is almost 100% satisfaction, almost 100% recommendation, reduction in stress levels, more than 90%. And one of, so there are a lot of curricula on there. USML is just one of them. And even in that, you know, in step one, almost about 30% increase, but step two, about 50% um, increase in students' performance. So this slide will be shared with you. I won't spend a lot of time on it, but this is what you would get from Lecturia and you know we keep saying now that we are understanding the importance of evidence-based learning let's teach evidence-based medicine evidence-based nursing in an evidence-based manner so what I'm going to do right now is reshare my screen please bear with me for a second and share with you the login so what Lecturia everything that I've spoken about right now what it looks like so let's log out for a second and see so this is the login page. This would be your academy. And you will, inshallah, you will be granted access very soon. But this is what it looks like. And then here you'll have your own school logo, your own colors. You know, it would be yours. It's no longer like to you now. It is your institution, your academy, because you are taking charge of your learning. And when you log in, we'll now look at the student view, what things look like, um, what the platform looks like to you um, upon first glance. So the first thing you see is the widgets. These are, and I can use this to access the activity that's on here to um, access all the functions on the platform. But this is basically a summary of every bit that I have um, interacted with on the platform. You know, every time I do anything on the platform that this data generated, which then can be used for my own learning and also for my faculty to, um, to help meet my needs. So on this panel here, as I mentioned, one of the things was the videos, not one, the bulk of like two years curricula is the video. So let's start with MBBS. I do understand we have, you know, a mix of students. We have the basic sciences and we have the clinical years as well. But let's start something that, you know, everyone is familiar with. Let's start with anatomy. So even before you, you know, go to your videos, your individual lectures, you can have an idea, a preview of what the video is like, who is it that's teaching you? What is the description? What, how much load, content load is there that you need to cover and questions that are synced with that? So let's start with brain and nervous anatomy. Let's start with something that, you know, all of us tend to, you know, we visualize this, but how amazing is it to see it in 3D, the pupillary light reflex. So this is what the, you know, the video screen looks like. When a video starts playing, let's, start with our learning objectives on the side here you have the ability to change you know the speed of the video the um you can have we have closed captioning available to you in over 25 languages they are auto translated but this is again you know something available to you you can have it in english in arabic let's switch them off for a bit and 
you know, we want to understand, I have about four minutes in this material, in this lecture that I'm interacting with, what is it that I need to learn from here? So we have, you know, it's really important for you to have learning objectives so that at the end of even these few minutes you've spent, you will, you will be able to have an understanding of has learning been achieved. So you have an idea that when you're watching this video, these are the things you need to take out of them. And at the end of the video, the questions I've mentioned to you, the space repetition, these will pop up. Let's see, let's see them as they pop up. And they try to gauge, you know, did you pay, you know, were you paying attention? What is your active recall like? So um, let's try answering this question. And, you know, again, there are two factors that are now being considered here. Your accuracy. When I answer this, am I getting it right or wrong? But also my level of confidence. Am I just guessing or, you know, I completely don't know the answer or, you know what, I think I'm correct. So look, accuracy 100% and confidence 100%. So what the algorithm has done now, it's judged for me that I will most likely forget this question after a very long time, after, you know, more than two months. So what will happen is after these 73 days, this question will come up to me again in what we call the space repetition deck. So those 30,000 questions that you have on there, they will come to you in intervals based on how you answered them in the first place. And that's what we mean. You know, the more times you do them, that's when we understand that you have achieved mastery of the concept. So for example, let's see, I have a feeling it's this, but I am guessing. So I got it correct. But do you see that, you know, my confidence was at zero. I was guessing. And now the algorithm is telling me only three days after three days, I'm very likely to forget. And this question will come to me after three days. So, um, and the other thing is, you know, when we are interacting with any material, learning science tells us when you students actively recall, when you regurgitate information in your own words, you are more likely to remember it for a longer time period. So at the end of every video, a summary note prompt comes up and you are, you can create your own notes. And in addition to this, let's, you know, stop this for a while, rewatch the video. In addition to that summary note, while you're still learning, you can take your notes on here as well. For example, nine months ago at this position, I took the following note and there is a transcript available as well. So, you know, some of you might want to take notes as the student, as the professor is teaching you or you understand, you know, you're looking for a very particular thing. I know there's something about the Edinger Westfeld nuclei. So I can search and just skip to that part and the video skips. So it's linked with, it's synced with the transcript and there's a very seamless learning that's happening right now. And now finally, let's go to the 3D model. So the pupillary light reflex, as the um, professor is teaching it, you can see live what that looks like. It is being demonstrated to you. And then you can, you know, have this in a bigger picture. You can zoom out, zoom in. You can annotate the diagram. And, you know, take full control of your learning. And then let's say I am. So let's go back for a second. Let's pick a different video. Let's go to videos. Let's do some. Let's go back to anatomy, but look at vasculature, for example. So we are at the head and neck. Let's look at that. So again, let's go back to the 3D model. And here, what I'm trying to show is, you know, you can build your own anatomy tree as well. I hope it has loaded for you. I know that it's quite slow. Um, so what is being taught to me, I can see it, but also I can choose to, you know, build my anatomy tree that in addition to the vessels, I also want to look like, look at the nervous system. How is it along with the vessels? Or I also want to, you know, take some of them out. So I hope my screen is visible. Can someone give me a shout out if they've seen the change that just happened? Yes, we can see the change. Amazing. So I want to go back and now I want to not see the nervous system, but see how the muscular system comes up. And there you go. And then, you know, you can zoom in and just see how the vessels are passing through there. You could possibly see the innovation as well, so on and so forth. And then the other thing is, you know, learning science does tell us not all students like to learn by just having these, you know, videos or someone speaking at them. So this same content is also available to you in the terms in the form of concept pages that you can see here, just at the click of a button. So 
let's say I want to now go look at the entire carotid arterial system, but I don't want to watch the video. I don't have enough time. I have a test coming up. So that same material is now available to you in the form of a concept page as well. And you can, you know, you can look at the clinical relevance. So again, just use this panel, look at the related videos. You can go back. You can just see the references, you know, let's say you want to see um, further enhance your learning or elaborate your learning points here. And they're all very recently updated. And let's go back for a second. You can then also, you know, just mark here that, yes, I think I've learned this. I can do my test and see what my performance was like. So I have touched on a lot of different, you know, functionalities here, but all were just from the click of this button, just to, you know, just from the, our video library. The same way they can be, you know, just you can just go directly to the concept pages from here as well. The same concept pages that I accessed earlier. And, you know, not if, if you are someone who, just completely prefers reading instead of watching videos and you want to watch videos only, you know, sometimes when you, you feel like you have a lot more time available to you, that's completely, you know, you take full control of your learning. And then let's go to the space repetition deck, where that goes. So you did see that there were some questions that I answered with uh, that told me that they'll come back to me after 73 days and there was some that you know I was told, reminded that after three days I need to relearn that concept all those quiz questions build in our space repetition deck this builds an algorithm which recommends when I should repeat a question when I should um, when I should repeat it and it's almost like doing flashcards with the system so I can choose that today I only want to do a certain you know subject or a certain organ system and then when I answered, when I click answer new questions, again, these questions will start popping up or I could pick particular systems as well. So I could say today, I only want to do cardiovascular. And this graph is a very visual representation of how my learning is, you know, um, progressing. So when I answer a concept more than five times in a row with 100% confidence and accuracy, that means I have mastered that concept. So imagine that you are being mastering those concepts for over 30,000 questions. And then let's for a second go back to our question bag. So I did also mention to you, in addition to um, the quiz questions, we have clinical questions as well. So, you know, and this is something you can use for your formative assessments or your faculty can use it for your summative assessments as well. So what do the clinical questions look like? Let's see. Let's say I have an exam coming up tomorrow. I know I am studying internal medicine. I'm in my clinical years. And I'm really struggling. So I want to just have not too easy, but not too difficult as well. And I want to test myself with tutor mode on because I know I'm not very confident right now. And maybe I don't want to time myself. So I would pick, you know, the um, department or the, the module that I want to do and the system that I want to do. So I wish to only do the cardiovascular system today and maybe the nervous system. I think these two I need help with. And I think I only want to do 15 questions today. So when I start a test, this is what the examination mode looks like, you know, what the examination window looks like. So just please bear with me for a minute. Okay. You know, your, your teachers always tell you, please always read the question well. Please always, you know, highlight what you think is important. And as you can see, it's very user-friendly. So I'm reading my question. I have highlighted what I feel is important. And now I'm trying to rule out the options that I think are not, um, are definitely not correct. So all I do is I click the ones and I've narrowed down my options to myself. There's an ECG there. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is the correct answer. So I was wrong. And it's telling me what, you know, how my peers accuracy is like. What is the correct explanation? What was the right answer? With diagram diagrammatical um, explanation and why the other options were given then what they would look like so if, for example option b this is what it would look like and that's why it's not correct what is the learning objective that you should have achieved from this um, question and then there is a related video there as well so i i'm guessing this question was related to the ecg of ventricular tachycardia so i need to relearn that right now And then I can just watch it, see if I have mastered the concept or take some notes that maybe, you know, might help me in the future. 
and then move on to my next question. So when I go to the next question, again, similar um, representation, let's see what that goes. So I got this correct, but again, I do still have the explanation because you know I might have just guessed it, which I have in this scenario. And I can look at my explanation. Let's say if I needed to look at some lab values again, click of a button and they are available. I can decide to use, you know, the calculator if that was the case here. And let's try seeing, let's just do one more question. So we have built some data on there. Um, okay, that is incorrect. So let's end this and see what feedback looks like. So this is something I'm sure a lot of you students will appreciate is there is instantaneous feedback. The moment I have done questions, I'm in immediately told what it is, how is it that I'm doing? How am I performing compared to my peers? And where is it that I'm struggling? So, you know, I can look at my accuracy. I can see, so because I only have two questions on here, um, two topics that I work through. I have the ideas of the questions. So if I need to re-look at the explanations. Now, what I meant by creating your own playlist. So I can choose that today from the questions that I did, I want to have an adaptive review. I want to redo them. So let's click that. So what the system has done now, it has created for me a custom playlist that includes the videos that I need to learn, includes the quiz questions I need to learn and the concept pages that will allow me to redo those questions and do better to get you know a better grade to pass them. And then let's go back for a second. And then how this looks like in terms of your courses, because let's say you are, you know, a final year student, you're only looking at pharmaco, um, pharma, sorry, <laughs> pathophysiology and not physiology anymore. Let's say you are a first year student just looking at anatomy, physiology, basic sciences. You can have learning paths created for you. So you can do these yourselves to take charge of your own learning or your faculty can do this for you. And what this looks like, for example, let's go to pharmacology example, for example. So you see what has been done here is I have built myself a visual representation of the course content, whereby now I have my learning objectives streamlined. I have, I can see, I have done concept alignment here. So I can see my QBank questions, my videos, my quiz questions. And when I finish this block one, I can now progress to block two, block three, block four. And all this is again tracked here. My progress is being tracked. My performance is being tracked. And what when we say performance is being tracked, so you can evaluate your learning and you can take charge of your learning and identify where is it that you need to improve. So for example, I can see that in my, you know, MBCHP, let's look at just by organ systems. I am struggling in, let's see. So I'm really struggling in anatomy, as you can tell. I have been watching my sessions, but there are some, you know, areas that I really need assistance with. So where is it in anatomy that I'm struggling? Clearly, I'm struggling in gross anatomy and I have not even attempted my embryology. So you will have access. The more you engage with the platform, the more data will be generated that you can work with um, to improve your learning, to improve your, just to take charge of the way you learn these similar concepts, these concepts that you have been learning anyway in this journey, in your medical and nursing journey. And then finally, let's now look at what I'm, what we briefly spoke about, the study planner your personalized tutor, in addition to, you know, all these different nitbits that are going on, this is what your study planner looks like. And what essentially this does is it gives you a study coach that tells you how well are you managing your time? What has your interaction with the platform been like? What are your assignments and how are you progressing with them? So there's a traffic light system here that tells you if you are on, prog you know, if you're progressing well, or if you're not on track, or if it were completely read, it will tell you that, you know what, you have missed a due date, you have missed an assignment. And let's say, you know, you are one of those students who are, you know, you do your exam or you finish your assignment right before the deadline. So you see that those are the spikes here. That's how I have been. If I do it that way, maybe today I'll only spend four minutes with the platform, but right before my deadline, I'll have to spend nine hours to cover everything on there so that I can meet my deadline. But then Lecturio gives you a balance coach as well. It's telling me if I only spend about two hours on the platform, I will finish all my assignments without having those anxiety spikes. And based on that, what is it that I need to do today? So my coach is telling me that today, these are my recommended minimum tasks. And when I click on them, I would just be taken there. 
and I can start, you know, achieving um, the task. I can start completing it. And then it tells me what is it that, what else is it that remains for me to cover? I do understand I have been speaking at you for a very long time. I want to take a break here and ask um, if you have any questions for me. Are there any questions for me at this point? Uh, yes, uh, I have yes. a question. Yes, please go uh, on. First of all, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Iqra, for this informative tutorial of the website. Um, I just want to 